Hello everyone, welcome back to Unbox with Bruce and today we will be doing another unboxing video and this time it's for the uh, 1950 Batmobile uh, by uh, Funko Pop. Now this is actually uh, kind of a, like a part 2 to this item because we unboxed it before only that we didn't really take the item out of the box and I'm so sorry for that. Now uh, before we proceed with the unboxing by the way, um, if it's your first time viewing this channel Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below um, if you like unboxing content of different items like toy collectibles and sometimes food. So um, anyway, um, let's go ahead and check out the box first before we uh, proceed. So just in case you didn't see the video, but I'll be putting the first video um, in the description. So here's what it looks like from the front. So this is a special edition one. Here's what it looks like from the left side. So we see Batman there, and we, this is um, on the back, so we have like a big nice Batman logo there, and uh, like the 80 years celebration thingy, and this is what it looks like from the right, so we have like another window to see the figure in. Now um, from the top, uh, this is what it looks like, and from the bottom, uh, we have like a couple of different messages there. So let's go ahead and open the item. Oh, looks like I don't need to use my board because it's, I mean, this thingy because um, it's kind of easy to. Oh, well, looks like I needed it somehow. So, sorry, what I was saying was it was easy on this side to remove the cover, but on the uh, left side it was a bit tight. So anyway, let's remove that now out of the box while removing this item. Oh, it's, kind of it's kind of hard. Oh, there you go. So um, actually, a couple of hours earlier, um, they released the new Batman movie with Robert Pattinson in it, and it was really great. So you should, if you're a Batman fan probably check it out as well now we have like this cardboard thingy that can uh, work as a background but you know it's a bit messed up uh, I don't know what happened but I'm sure I didn't open this box yet but looks like it get, got trampled inside so sorry for that so um, so let's now remove the clamshell Oh, that was easy. And then let's put it aside. And here's Batman. So we don't have like other accessories. So like straight from the box, we only have like this one item. And it's really, what's this? Oh, uh, looks like it's just dust. I thought it was like a paint rub or something. And I was a bit scared there. So, uh, so very nice item. So it's really cute. I think this is um, based on the classic Batman. So unfortunately, in my figure, let me zoom in. Um, you can see that there's like a paint rub, an extra paint, right here in the eye. So that's not good, but I guess that's what makes it unique if you like uh, look on the bright side. And what's nice about it, it has like a semi glossy paint. Uh, I mean, like a glittery paint. Because it, there's like a bit of glitter on his head. So, front to front. Yeah, like a very nice bat symbol and it had like uh, some dust at first and then um, for the lights it's good and we have like a bit of a I don't know what this thingy is but there's like a fingerprint on it that's weird well I won't I probably should leave that there um, so that I could find out who touched this figure if in case I work for like CSI or somewhere so from the side or this is the left side 
it, there's like a bit of a gap here where you can see uh, see through Batman so they weren't able to really um, properly connect the parts so that's a bit disappointing uh, but anyway um, if you look at it from a distance though it's well it is noticeable but I guess it will work there's like a, also a gap here in the windshield uh, then there's like another I don't know what this figure went through it's like a paint um, thingy like a scratch here on this side and uh, from the back you have like a nice paintwork uh, this is supposed to be the, the special edition by the way so I don't know this is like super bad it's like has a lot of stain and all that like here if you look at it from the top part there's some sort of a paint rub too so uh, well I've been saying in this channel that no two Funko Pops are the same but looks like this um, pop went through a lot of trauma I don't know <laughs> like on the wheels uh, also like uh, have the same dusty stuff like white dusty stuff and also there and anyway from the bottom here's what it looks like you can't really turn the wheels so it's like just stuck there on that position same here it's probably someone who manufactured this item got angry and then just assembled it and like put it inside of the box but anyway I guess that's okay you know so you don't always get the best I don't know what's good about it what's interesting about it by the way is that um, if we zoom in on the back you see some like beakers or lab materials and you have like the Batman TV there for some reason I'm not sure if you can see it but there it is and yeah some lab experimenting stuff um, Okay, so for some very quick size comparison, so we have, um, let's put him side by side with Thomas Wayne. So in terms of size, um, it's proportionate. And here he is next to uh, Wonder Woman. And of course, All Might. So it looks good. I think you can just cover this up if, you can, if you're good with like painting but you know you have to be careful though because if like you suck at painting it wouldn't look great you might like um, stain the face of Batman so I guess that's it for this uh, second review or quote unquote or un full unboxing of this item so I hope you guys enjoyed it and again don't Please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and stay safe guys. You have a great day. Bye.